G'day and welcome to the channel. I've got three exciting videos coming up and they all have to do with the Canon 402.8. This is the second version, not the third version, but I've been very fortunate, thanks to one of my subscribers, I've been able to get hold of this lens and I'm gonna put it through its paces a couple of times out in the field and then I'll review the lens in another video. So today's video is gonna be out in the field where I photograph some grebes and ducklings. Well, g'day and good morning and welcome to the channel. Today we're out in the field. I'm at a local park or lake and there's a few water birds you can see behind me. Uh, I've got some ducks and some coots. My main reason for coming here though is I've actually spotted a uh, little grebe nest out in the middle of the lake and there's a grebe on there now. So I'd like to get some shots of that grebe, but the issue is it's a fair way out. So focal length is gonna be an issue for me. The sun's already up, I am late. Um, so the sun hasn't quite hit the grebes yet. Uh, so what I might try and do first is there's some ducks out here so I might just whack the camera with the two times on my ground pod and I've done a video on a ground pod if you want to know what this device is that I mount my camera on and we'll go and try and photograph some ducks. All right, so I'm laying here. There's a duckling coming right at me. So... Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. So I can see another bird coming as we speak. So if I wait, hopefully it will um, just go past me and enable me to get some shots. This other one's coming back now. This is what it's all about, having these ducks coming to you. The little ducklings is beautiful, nice behaviour. Um, getting down low, just being with the birds, it's amazing. As I mentioned, I'm just laying here. I've observed where the ducks were coming from, where the light is coming over my shoulder. I've laid down, I'm nice and low because I've got this ground pod, I've got my gimbal, I've got the 400 millimeter lens, I've got a two times converter, so I'm at 800, uh, 5.6 and a 5D Mark IV body. I'm shooting at um, ISO 1600, just to give me some shutter speed. I'm at F8 to make sure it's as sharp as possible. 5.6 is our max aperture at the moment, so you need to at least go up by a stop to get it the sharpest, so F8 or higher. Um, and yeah, so and that gives me a shutter speed of around 800th of a second, which is possibly a touch low, but it should be okay. So um, that worked out really well. Uh, I don't really have any shots of those Pacific black duck ducklings. They're getting a little bit big now, but still I don't have any shots of them, so very happy to get some. I took a heap, so we'll have to go through them and find which one. It'll be interesting to see how many are sharp, but yeah, very happy. Very happy indeed.
I'm going to take a couple of shots of this grebe on the nest and as I'm photographing it I'll just quickly shoot a video so I can show you what I mean. So this grebe on the nest you can see that it's got a little bit of yellow behind its head and then we've got that dark line above the yellow and that's possibly because I'm a little bit too low so I probably need to raise the camera up so that we can get more of the yellow above the bird which I prefer so we'll do that and see if that makes a difference. Do that image. So you can see now that I've lifted the camera up, there's more yellow. Uh, you can see the males popped up next to it. So you can see the nest. I might take a quick photo as it is. You can see that it's not a bad. We've got the male and the female on the nest, so we'll do that. I'm still a touch far away at 800 millimeters, I think. The light might be just starting to hit it. So I'm using one shot AF because the boat bird's stationary, so it's not moving. And I know some people don't like that beep, but I like to have the beep to tell me that I've acquired focus. Um, oh, it's looking at me, this bird. So as I mentioned in all my videos, we want eye contact. Oh, we've got the male. So we've got the two birds. The male's actually doing something with the nest. The male's tending to the female. So if I can get a shot with the male in the shot as well. So ideally we want the male's eyes and the female's eyes in the one shot. And I'm currently at ISO 1600. Um, I'm at f8 and that gives me a shutter speed around 800. I think we just need a touch more focal length because I'm still a little too far away. I could get the my 40D out just to see what the 1.6 crop looks like. But then again, I, the crop might not work to our advantage to have that habitat around the bird. We just gotta wait for the shadows in front of the bird to recede, which they kind of are because the sun's getting higher. So I don't think in about five or 10 minutes we'll have an issue with those shadows anymore. And we should end up with very nice uh, photos. I've just noticed a Pacific black duck actually standing on a rock. Okay, so I'm just going to wait now for the grebe to do its changeover. The shadows are almost gone. It's looking really good. So now just need to wait for we just need to wait for the changeover and try and capture some behavior so we'll just lay here and enjoy the uh, serenity I guess and watching the birds so I got a really nice message this morning from a subscriber called Mark who's just started bird photography and he was very appreciative of all my videos and it's very humbling to hear that but he touched on a point that he found it in these times. He, almost, he found birding almost like meditation in that it's very calming and soothing and I totally agree with him just being out here, even though I can hear some trucks and different things, I'm here with these birds and they're just going about their daily lives and we've got the nature in progress with these birds on the nest. Um, yeah, it's very rewarding. Oh, I can see that coot back on over here.
Duckling coming towards me, I might just take a shot of that. I think I've had the best of the light, so what I might do is put the 40D on just so we can see what the 1.6 crop does to 800 millimeters. See how much closer that gets us to the nest. So I'll do that, I'll go and grab that camera. So I've just taken a few shots with the 40D. This is a camera you can pick up for like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks second hand. It's so old, 10 megapixel camera, but it's the only APS-C crop body I've got. So it's a 1.6 crop. So effectively it gives you a full frame equivalent of um, timesing it by 1.6. So 800 times 1.6, I don't know exactly what that is. Is it 1280 or something? 1200 and something. So that gives us just a lot more reach than we do on the full frame body. So as I've mentioned numerous times before, I'm in my happy place when I'm laying in the mud. I seriously encourage you, once COVID's over perhaps, to get out there to your local parks and nature and just enjoy birds. Magpie larks that noise. Having a bit of a conversation.
what an enjoyable morning that was. I've got so many shots of the Pacific black duck, um, ducklings, the grebe on the nest, uh, wood duck, plenty of other things. Some galahs calling over here. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos. Thank you to those members that are supporting the channel. And until next time, bye for now. See you later.